Hello, this is Lisa at my Sandpoint Studio. I'm here to tell you about my book, How to Create an Artist's Income. This book is basically written for artists who want to learn how to break into the field of sales. Um, I am not a writer, I'll be honest with you. I basically wrote this for other artists, from an artist, um, to help people learn how this, how this process works. Most people who have gone to art school um, forgot to take a few business courses um, so that they could learn the other half of art, half of art, 50% is sales, and the other half is creation. Um, once you start marrying those two, you realize that, oh, it's a, that rounds out a business. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a plumber or a construction person or a tile maker, you have to know both parts of your job in order to round it out and start creating an income in addition to create, creating whatever it is that you love to do. Um, this book has many different processes, many different things. It is not written as a business book. It is basically written from the perspective of what causes success in people. What? Why does that guy sell all his paintings and I can't sell mine and mine are just as good as his. There's a reason. There's a reason is um, what he's doing, the way he's doing it, and his perspective on the whole issue. Um, it's it's written, f basically, I study um, people who write about success. Wayne Dyer's one of my favorites. Um, uh, Malcolm Gladwell is another one. There are so many of those kind of people that I've studied my whole life out of sheer interest and compiled them all into this book. It's basically a list of all the the things that you could do because I know being an artist you're a very passionate person but you're there's only certain things that you will do and if you're if someone says well you got to go do this and you in your heart saying I won't do that don't do it only do the things that you know you can do and accomplish because those are the things you will be successful at um, incidentally a anything that in life um, that you're not feeling good about you shouldn't do um, so I basically wrote it for other artists because when I opened my very first studio I had so many people literally on a daily basis who would come in and ask how do you do that how does how do sales happen how do I price my work how do I price my work so that it keeps moving so that I'm actually connecting with the public instead of just thinking that it's this high dollar p painting when in reality you have to put yourself in the other person's shoes in order to create and close a sale. You have to know how to ha ask closing questions. Very important. How many times, through my own experience, realize that if I would have just asked one question, I probably would have closed the deal. Because most people don't don't know sales and, and that's the most important skill that we can learn um, as far as whatever it is we want to do um, so anyway I hope you enjoy the book you are so welcome to go to my website ask me any questions that you can think of I have helped hundreds of artists um, started to break into the field it's very exciting once you start seeing sales um, and I wish you good luck because you know what this is your first step just getting and reading this video listening to this video is your first step it shows that hey man I want to do something else besides creation I want to do the other half of art 50% art 50% business and then you have a ra nice rounded business and it you don't know where it's gonna come from you don't know how it's gonna be you could be a next t-shirt artist you could be the person who creates the next mug um, that has a really great and positive message on it um, you don't know but you do know that there are things that you will do and won't do and this book will guide you through them there are so many things too many things to mention here I just want to help all of you do what I do because there is no competition out there. Um, once you start to get good, most people have already folded and realized that, oh, I can't do that. And that perspective is for those who have it. But if you want to change that, this book will help. This book will help you realize that, how did they do that? How, how are those people doing that? And, and have fun. The most important thing is to have fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.